Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name is Dion Stubbs. I am from the Church of Epiphany, and I will be your Sunday school teacher for today. Last week, we learned about Lent, and we learned how Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. Remember, we are learning how to be obedient to Jesus and to love him the way he loves us. Now there are some things we ought to do to be obedient and loving to Jesus and others. We are going to sing the first and second verse to continue with the verse of do no sinful action, which we learned last week to begin our lesson today. Listen to the words in the second verse. I am going to say the words and you listen. Then I will say the words the second time and I want you to join in with me. And the last time everyone should know the words and we will say it together. Are you ready? Now don't forget for the first time you are going to listen to the words. Sit quietly now and listen. Christ is kind and gentle. Christ is pure and true. And his little children must be holy too. Now, boys and girls, I want you to say the words along with me this time. Christ is kind and gentle. Christ is pure and true. And his little children must be holy too. Very good, boys and girls. Now, do you remember the first verse of this hymn? Do no sinful action. Let's say the verses, verse one and the second verse together. Then we will sing them both. Do no sinful action, speak no angry word. We belong to Jesus, children of the Lord. Christ is kind and gentle, Christ is pure and true, and his little children must be holy too. Very good. Now join in the singing. Do no sinful action, speak no angry word. We belong to Jesus, children of the Lord. Christ is kind and gentle. Christ is pure and true, and his little children must be holy too. That deserves a round of applause. Let us say our prayers today through song. Quiet yourselves and sing along in a soft, soft tone. Oh, 
Good. Now before we talk about our lesson today, let's look at that second verse of do no sinful action. Christ is kind and gentle. Christ is pure and true. And his little children must be holy too. Boys and girls, have you tried to be kind and gentle like Jesus? Being kind means that you must always be thinking good things about one another. Stay away from fights and naughty things. We must try to be holy like Jesus. How can we be holy? I'll give you a few tips because one of the ways of being holy is in our lesson for today. This week, and until we come to the end of Lane, our theme will be prayer. Let's sing that chorus, read your Bible, pray every day. This is a way that we can try to be holy like Jesus. I know that you know this chorus, so sing it out loud to the top of your voices. Read your Bible, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, 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 and you'll grow, 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 and you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. Don't read your Bible, don't pray every day, don't pray every day. Don't pray every day. Don't read your Bible. Don't pray every day. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Don't read your Bible. Don't pray every day. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. I could hear your beautiful voices singing in that familiar Vacation Bible school song. Yes, boys and girls, if you want to become like Jesus, you must read your Bibles every day and pray every day. We are going to listen to a Bible story and then we will pray to end our lesson. Next week, we will learn more about our theme of prayer. The Holy Tales Hello! My name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo! Freckles! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing! Is 
story about? Today's story is about how a fish saved Jonah and spit him out. What? A fish spit him out? Stop it, Tubby. Just listen to the story. Okay, children. A long, long time ago, God had given a man called Jonah a job to do. Instead of listening to God, Jonah set off in another direction. Suddenly, there was a dangerous storm and the waves were running very high. The boat was tossing and turning in the middle of the sea. Everyone on the boat was really scared. They did not know what to do. They tried to lighten the boat by throwing stuff overboard, but it did not help. They asked Jonah to pray to his God to rescue them. Jonah, in his heart, knew that it was because of him that the lives of others were in danger. He told his fellow sailors, Throw me into the water! Jonah knew that God was with him and he would rescue Jonah. The sailors tried hard to row to the shore, but they were very tired and could not row any longer. Praying for forgiveness to God, they threw Jonah into the water. To everyone's amazement, the sea stopped raging at once. God heard Jonah's prayers and sent a huge fish to rescue him. Jonah was inside the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed to God for help from inside the fish's belly. God spoke to the fish. When the time came and it was safe for Jonah to come out into the world, the fish spit him out. And now, here is a question for you. What did Jonah do when he was inside the fish's belly? I think he ate up the fish from inside. No silly. He prayed to God so that God would rescue him. Oh, you're absolutely right, Gumbo. <laughs> Wasn't that an interesting story? Yes, boys and girls, we must always listen to what God is saying to us and do as he tells us. But sometimes when we are disobedient, we get into trouble like how Jonah did. However, because Jesus died to save us from our sins if we pray to him, he will hear us and forgive us like how he heard Jonah. And then we must show him how much we love him by doing good things for him. Like telling others about him. Before we pray, let's tell Jesus in song how we love him and sing, Oh, how we love Jesus. Sweet. 
Good boys and girls, now quiet yourselves, close your eyes, and think about Jesus' love for you. Now repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, I love you and I want to be obedient, loving, kind, and a gentle child. Please let me know what you want me to do. Then help me to do it for Jesus' sake. Amen. Well, boys and girls, please remember to read your Bible and pray every day. Have a lovely week, and if you are able, see you in church. <laughs>